Hey everybody, this is Evan Abrams, and I'm going to show you how to use the five color animated font available for sale now. So the first thing you have to do is create a new project, and we're actually going to import the file into a new project. So go ahead and import, select the five color animated font, and hit open. And when you import things, you can see that you get a nice folder, and then a bunch of other folders, because I gave you lots of nice folders. And within here, we have all of the letters, and then we have all of the numbers, and we have all of the punctuation. And all of the control happens here on the global layer. And so if you open up the global layer, you can see here's all the stuff that's going on. And the only layer you can select is the control layer. And if you go into its effects controls, this is everything that will alter what's going on out here. So we have things like first color, second color, third color, fourth, and fifth. So if you look at the letters, you can see that the first color that comes on is red. And if you want to change that, you can just go in here, pick a new one, and you know, after it grinds away and updates, that's the new color. Same thing for the second color. Go ahead and pick whatever. And then third, and then fourth, and then fifth. And you can see that the fifth color is the last color. And we have a thing under here that says layers. So maybe five colors is too many colors for you. So you can just go ahead here, change the slider down to say two, and then only the first two come on. Or you can go ahead and leave it at five. And you might think, well, why don't I just change something like, I'll change the third color to match the fourth color. And that'll make that band that much longer. Speaking of making things longer and shorter, the temporal offset will change the timing between when things come on. So smaller, like 0.04, will make things come on faster, trailing each other quite a bit faster. And it goes all the way up to 0.52, which is as high as it can go while not having delay in between the two things coming on. So you can feel free to monkey with that as much as you like. In general though, 0.04 is basically going to be one frame delay because 0.04 seconds is 1 25th and we're at 25 frames a second. When it comes down to actually using the letters, we're going to create a new composition and I'll call this EC Abrams. You'll make a background if you want to. Um, it can be whatever color. And then you'll basically go in to the letters and then drag them out onto here or drag them out onto the timeline. And what I like to do is just select all the letters you're going to need. A, B, and then we also need R, and then we also have, we have the A already, M, and then S drag those out, and then you align them, E, C, A, B, R, need a new A, so duplicate it, A, M, S, good. And as you can see, they all kind of come on in a mess because they all start in the center. So what I'd like to do is take them and space them out and scale them as need be. So let's say scale them down like 30 maybe. It really depends on your project though. And then you're going to need to space them out manually, moving them around like so, but you can also use the handy align panel to uh, move these things about, you know, select them all, use the align panel to stick them all in the center and then space them out evenly. And speaking of spacing things out evenly, if you want them to come on one after the other, select E, hold down shift, select S or first and last, and then you basically just trim them all to be one frame long. So they're all one frame long, and then go animation, keyframe assistant, sequence the layers, hit OK, and then extend all of the layers out again so that they all take up all of their respective time. Then when you play it back, they all come on one letter at a time. So that's pretty good. Now let's say these are on for longer than you would like. What I do is I just select all of them, and then I go Control shift d to cut them, and then I shorten them this way, and then stick them back on, and then they come and go with, uh, you know, a polite amount of time. So I'm Evan Abrams. Uh, thanks for watching this tutorial about how to use this wonderful font. Uh, it's available for download now off of Gumroad Direct. 
So if you want to go download it, check that out. The link is in the description and right here on the video. And uh, thank you very much for supporting uh, the things that I do here. And there will be more downloads to come. And uh, check out EvanAbrams.com and the EC Abrams YouTube channel. And follow me on Twitter and get involved on the Facebook. And uh, there will be plenty of more products and tutorials and all that great stuff coming up. So stay tuned for more. And thank you very much for watching.